In this video, we will be demonstrating the proper procedure for gluing the end caps on Crop King NFT channels. Carefully read and follow all label guidelines, warnings, and instructions on the cans of cleaner, primer, and glue. General recommendations include that the work area needs to be well ventilated to avoid the buildup of vapors. The vapors are flammable, keep away open flame, and PVC glue sticks to everything. Gluing should be done over a drop cloth and wear gloves and clothes that you are okay with potentially getting stained. The first step in preparing the channel for gluing is deburring the cut ends of the channel. This is done by running the edge of a razor or similar tool along the cut edge of the channel. Next we use the PVC cleaner to clean the channel. Run the application dabber along the inside and outside of the channel about a half inch from the end of the channel in. Now we use the PVC cleaner to clean the spouted end cap. Roll the application dabber to get cleaner in the grooves that the channel will slip into once glued. Pay close attention to the corners as this is the most likely area to leak. Once the PVC cleaner dries, it is now time to prime. Run the PVC primer application dabber along the inside and outside of the channel about a half inch in from the end of the channel in. Now we use the PVC primer to prime the spouted end cap. Roll the application dabber to get primer in the grooves that the channel will slip into once glued. Again, pay close attention to the corners as this is the most likely area to leak. While the primer is still wet, we apply the PVC glue. Run the PVC glue application dabber along the inside and outside of the channel about a half inch from the end of the channel in. Now we apply the PVC glue to the spouted end cap. Roll the application dabber to get the glue in the grooves that the channel will slip into once glued. And seriously, pay close attention to the corners as this is the area that is most likely to leak. Line the grooves of the spouted end cap up with the channel and press the end cap firmly onto the channel. Hold for several seconds so that the glue can begin to bond. Once pressed together, run the PVC glue application dabber along the inside seam where the channel and the end cap meet. Roll the application dabber into the corners and along the bottom to help force glue into the grooves and help prevent leaking. Turn the channel over and run the PVC application dabber along the outside seam of the channel and end cap. Roll the application dabber in the corners and along the bottom to help force glue into the grooves to help prevent leaking. Now that the spouted end cap is glued to the channel, we repeat the process for the plain end cap. Deburr the other end of the channel by running the edge of a razor knife or similar tool along the cut edge of the channel. Next, use the PVC cleaner to clean the channel. Run the application dabber along the inside and outside of the channel about half an inch from the end of the channel in. Now we use the PVC cleaner to clean the plain end cap. Roll the application dabber to get the cleaner in the grooves where the channel will slip into once glued. Pay close attention to the corners as this is the area that is most likely to leak. Once the PVC cleaner dries, it is now time to prime. Run the PVC primer application dabber along the inside and outside of the channel about a half inch from the end of the channel in. Now we use the PVC primer to prime the plain end cap. Roll the application dabber to get the primer in the grooves that the channel will slip into once glued. Once again, pay close attention to the corners as this is the area that is most likely to leak. While the primer is still wet, we apply the PVC glue. Run the PVC glue application dabber along the inside and outside of the channel about a half inch from the end of the channel in. Now we apply the PVC glue to the plain end cap. Roll the application dabber to get the glue in the grooves that the channel will slip into once glued. Pay close attention to the corners, as this is the area that is most likely to leak. Line the grooves of the plain end cap up with the channel and press the end cap firmly onto the channel and hold for several seconds so that the glue can begin to bond. Once pressed together, run the PVC glue application dabber along the inside seam where the channel and end cap meet. Roll the application dabber into the corners and along the bottom to help force glue into the grooves to help prevent leaking. Turn the channel over and run the PVC application dabber along the outside seam of the channel and end cap. 
Roll the application dabber in the corners and along the bottom to help force glue into the grooves to help prevent leaking. Leave the channel set for 12 hours to allow the glue to cure. Moving the channel while the glue is still curing can result in cracks in the glue leading to leaking. Taking the time to properly clean, prime, and glue the end caps onto your channels will help you save the headache of leaking channels when you bring your NFT system online.